tell me what is so important that the Black Lives Matter movement and the coronavirus are coming like second and third to Tati Westbrook crying in her house over her 20 year old best friend and <laughs> beauties and welcome back to my channel today I am doing a little get ready with me while I talk you through how to get this look and also kiki with you guys and spill some tea about things going on in the beauty community pop culture the news and everything else before we jump into this video make sure to follow me on all my social media and let's get started okay y'all so I already have my eyebrows done my eyelids primed so we can jump straight into color Okay, so today we will be jumping into the James Charles Morphe palette. I'm going to start out with this hot pink color right here, and I am going to put that on the outer part of my crease. And packing on that color, I'm going to be using this Real Techniques brush, and this is in the number 203. So I honestly wanted to, I had a different video idea going for today, and then with all the drama going on in like the, obviously like the beauty community on YouTube, I felt like I had to like come on and like talk about it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's drama that started last year, literally like last year around this time, surrounding like four main people, which are Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, James Charles, and Tati Westbrook. Now this started out really as drama between James Charles and Tati. James Charles is a, I believe he's like, he's 21. Tati's about 40. Jeffrey's like early 30s, I want to say. And I would say Shane is like around the same like early 30s. So really grown people. This whole controversy really is with a lot of old people. <laughs> that geeks me out because, okay, let's just, let me just say what happened. So if you don't know, James Charles, he's a gay man. And basically the rumor was that he used to like seduce or or use his fame and money and and power to seduce guys regardless of their sexual orientation so straight guys he used to say like almost like a fetish like he used to be like I you know really like you know, with straight guys and all this stuff that so like last year is when like those rumors really started to come about give me one second <laughs> um I'm moving colors, so I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, I'm going to be going into this shade right here with a little bit of this shade, and I'm going to be packing that right in the crease, following where I put the pink at, but not all the way into the inner corner. It'll probably stop about here. And I'm just going to take that on the same brush because, as you guys know, I really like using only one brush. <laughs> Okay, so jumping back into it. So basically, Tati, I'm not sure where I really left off, but basically Tati started to feel some type of way because she was getting told that James basically was seducing these people. And so she had a birthday party and apparently James tried to get with one, like with the waiter while she had like her family there and everything. And so that just was like, kind of like the nail in the coffin she was just like oh it must be true whatever anybody else is saying like it really must be true and so therefore like I don't like or want to be friends with him anymore and like and so she felt like she had to like school him on his behavior because she has taken a mentor kind of role or relationship with James and tries to you know help him through because you know he when he started out and when he started to go viral and become like really famous he was really young like not a lot of people were doing what he was doing so then James went on to do a sponsorship deal with Sugar Bear Hair Care this is honestly guys like talking about this makes me annoyed and here's why let me get back I'm getting frustrated let me, let me let's go back let's go back so James did a sponsorship with Sugar Bear Hair Care, which is the rival to Tati Westbrook's Halo Beauty Gummy brand. And so she felt horribly betrayed and just said, like, all bets are off. I don't care about his explanation. And went on this 43-minute rant, venting session, cry session about, you know, 
the fact that he betrayed her and you know how sad she was about it cool whatever so basically her tea was that she was annoyed because she couldn't believe that her best friend mentee james charles would ever do a campaign that goes against or or rivals against her brand and and so because of that situation and you know all that she all that she knows or what happened at her birthday party about him and his sexual preferences and all of that she just kind of like wrote him off and was like I am done 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 and then he made this whole video like that's not really who I am that's not really what happened blah blah okay next y'all just to pause the story one more time I'm gonna take this yellow right here and go in right next to the orange this time bringing it in all the way to the inner corner so fast forward to but like honestly all of that drama I don't know if you can tell by the tone of my voice but I never cared it has nothing like it it was so irrelevant and it honestly felt like forced drama like okay if you guys aren't gonna be friends anymore don't be friends like it is what it is and I genuinely can't even believe that people are still giving this lip service. I can't even believe that I'm sitting here right now talking about it. Like, I don't want to be doing that either. Yet here I am doing my makeup talking about this. It blows my mind truly. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to cut my crease taking this brush right here. And which is just like an eyeliner brush from Sony Kashuk. And then this Sephora concealer. This is in the shade Caramel 13. I don't really know what that means. It's just a light color on me, honestly. So to bring this whole situation full circle. Last week is when I started to like hear about what was going on. But it wasn't until a couple days ago when Tati released her own video. And that's really what I wanted to like come on here and like talk about. But I wanted to talk about her video. Her again 40 minute long video about why she's innocent or whatever her video is trying to like prove and so in this video tati basically tries to explain that one her and her and james have made up who's surprised but that also that shane and jeffrey are the masterminds and the villains basically behind the entire like scandal from like start to finish and that they knew what was going on it's making the video about james last year and that they knew and that they wanted to film it and that they wanted her to be a part of the beauty community and i'm just like did we forget that brianna taylor's murderers aren't arrested yet <laughs> like, like <laughs> to watch a i'm sorry i'm sorry y'all but to watch a white woman sit there bawling a 40 year old white woman bawling her eyes out over YouTube drama when people are dying people are still getting this coronavirus boggles my mind I don't think that it's important enough at all and in the video Tati starts to like apologize to other black and other just creators like um, Jackie Ina, for instance, and like saying like, oh, I'm so sorry about like how Jeffrey affected you when he like attacked you and I wasn't okay with it, but I didn't know how to say anything and all this stuff. And I'm just like, but where was that energy before? You're a 40 year old woman. You're gonna sit here and tell me that you don't know how to act? You don't know how to make your own judgments and not just listen to what else to what someone else says and just take that as fact. You don't know how to do that. And she's like, I'm still learning. And I'm like, learning what? You 40 year old. She talks about having kids in this in this video. And it's like, how are you gonna have kids and you can't even stand up for yourself? You can't even figure out when a situation doesn't feel right enough to leave or enough to speak up or enough to say. And she's saying that the reason why she acted the way she did is because of the influence that Jeffrey has over, had over her. Meanwhile, this is the biggest gag of all. She's sitting in her room reading a script off of her iPad because her legal team basically told her like don't deviate too far from like what we're telling you 
what we're approving you to say and she like feels like she had to sit there with that and I'm just like are you kidding you can't even speak from the heart are you authentic are you like a real person or are you like what is good like what what is up and in my opinion there's just so many bigger fish to fry please tell me what is so important that the black lives matter movement and the coronavirus are coming like second and third to tati westbrook crying in her house over her 20 year old best friend and <laughs> like the whole thing honestly it just makes me look at all of them differently like as i sit here and use their palettes i'm looking at all of them differently and i'm just like what is going on that this is what we're talking about and why is it now that it needs to come out? Like, who cares? Who even cares about this anymore? Because it's not me. I'm going to go back into that hot pink color and just meet the blue with the hot pink and overlap them so that it is all blended nicely. Okay, before I do eyeliner on the top, because we will, I'm going to move on to my face just to, you know, get things moving. I'm first going to prime using the Maybelline Master Prime Primer. Mine has pink stuff all over it. Don't give me anything white. I honestly ruin all things white. But yeah, just to finish up on this conversation because I'm genuinely like tired of talking about it. Priorities, okay? Let's all take into account that this is a year ago in the making and I if the if the point of this is to show that Jeffree Star and Shane are like in cahoots because that's basically what she was saying throughout the video is that they're in cahoots they came they made this problem they came to her telling her all this false information about Jeffrey and I mean about James and like basically like saying that they were only they only befriended her to um get in her head about James and then make him the villain because they were jealous or whatever of his current success at that moment i put so much primer on my forehead um he was doing so many big things that like they were threatened by him this this is the narrative that tati's now trying to push and so she was basically just like coerced and didn't know who her best friend was anymore and then after he did the sugar bear hair care campaign she was just done so it's like, okay, if that's the narrative and that and that and that's all true, let's just go out on a limb and say it's true. Doesn't sound like the craziest narrative in the world. Okay, now what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, are we canceling them? Like, are we like, you know what I mean? Like, what is the But the narrative that Tati should be spared because she was manipulated, I can't buy into because as a 40 year old woman, I don't see how you are just easily manipulated. And like I said, justice for George Floyd isn't complete yet. There's still so many things you can do to donate, speak out, speak up, sign a petition, join a protest. There are so many bigger fish to fry. This situation is not one of them. Let's move on to other pointless gossip though. Moving on to concealers, I'm going to be taking these two. These are both the e.l.f camo concealer 16 hour wear this one is in deep olive and this one is in deep cinnamon i've talked about these forever i love these the combination is mwah, perfect okay so moving on to another like hot topic that literally broke like i want to say tuesday ish is this whole august alcina jada pinkett smith craziness <laughs> oh my god okay so if you don't know <laughs> This story honestly kills me. I think I think Jada and Will's relationship is just it's like funny to me because I just feel like the only people that don't care about Jada and Will's relationship are Jada and Will. Like they just live in their own little world like not really caring about what anybody like has to say about their relationship. They basically have like a I guess they've come out and say that they're swingers. Um, they definitely invite people into their marriage, which, you know, in any kind of relationship, I don't think I would ever really want to invite a third person into my relationship because that's when problems really start. You know what I mean? Like, not only are you dealing with one person, but you're dealing with two. Like, no. And so basically, August Alsina um, is claiming, alleging, that he and Miss Jada Pinkett Smith, when she tried to help him with his career, 
ended up getting into like a relationship of their own and he's trying to say that Will Smith gave him like the green light and told him that like it was fine and that Will basically knew what was going on and so it wasn't really cheating it was just having an open marriage inviting someone into your marriage and I mean there's been so many rumors over the years that that's been a thing with their relationship that that's what they do they invite other people in their marriage and like cool to each their own honestly Jada and her well Jada's team Jada hasn't said anything so far but Jada's team has a like said like denied all claims or whatever but I mean not saying that I fully believe him but I could totally see it being the case and by the way, I'm doing powder now. The one I just used was my Airspun. It's just my regular Airspun translucent powder. And now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me um, powder. And this one is in 35 Deep. And this one is just like the regular white um, translucent powder. The scandal with the whole August thing is not necessarily that they were in a relationship, though that is a part of the scandal. The real scandal is that August was in a different place before and he was like you know down like down on his luck like he was I think he was like he had some sort of like drug or alcohol abuse and and he, he was he was just going through things you know as we all do he was just going through things and she was supposed to be helping him not only with his like career but just like as a person but it got messy because in helping him she apparent allegedly got into a relationship with him and so that, now it's like people are not only looking at her like, Jada, you're married, but now they're looking at her like, Jada, you took advantage of this boy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, it just seems like it's in poor taste. Okay, y'all, so next I'm going to be taking this NYX Epic Ink Liner in the shade Black. And it's also waterproof, which I just found out two seconds. And I'm just going to draw a basic, simple, like, wing line. I'm just going to try to bring it in a little bit in the inner corner to make it more like cat eye more of a cat eye effect but we'll see we'll see i can't always do a cat eye <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. This one is in mahogany. It is my tried and true favorite bronzer. Mwah. Should I put white in my in my line? Okay, y'all. So for my waterline, I'm going to go ahead and take this white. This is this is the NYX Jumble Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. Okay, y'all. Going into blush, I'm going to take this Morphe 8W palette. I'm going to take the outer two shades. So this one is called Goals, and this one is called provocative honestly I might take a combination of all four just to like tone it down a little bit but some combination so another thing I feel like I might get like clocked for people are probably going to roast me for this don't roast me I'm just a girl um no I literally watched homecoming yesterday which for you guys on Wednesday is when I watched it for the first no Tuesday was the first time that I watched it. I'm definitely ashamed. Homecoming is Beyonce's documentary on Netflix about her show, how she put it together, and actually showing you the entire show of what she did at Coachella last year, two years ago. Two, two years ago. I think it came out last year though. But for some reason, I did not jump on the bandwagon and watch it. And I don't know why. It's on Netflix, by the way. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It is really, really good. And I'm weird for not watching that. Like, I don't, I don't know why I didn't see. I have a problem sometimes identifying myself as a 
person in her beehive. I don't know why. I think it's because it's just like, it's Beyonce. Like, of course I love her music. Of course I love what she stands for. She's dope. She is probably the only like huge celebrity that we know nothing about unless she tells us. Like there are other big ones that do it too. Also going back into highlight, I'm gonna take these middle two shades and maybe a little bit of that wet and wild flower crown, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. Um, there are other celebrities that are also very private, like um, Sia is one that tries to keep her identity, like literally like nobody really knows what she looks like. I know what she looks like. I mean, you, if you Google it, you can figure it out, but you like, we don't know anything about her, but she's not Beyonce status. I think the, like the higher you go in like, how famous you are or popular you are the more like people just know about your life and she is one of the only ones that like I just don't know and so I think I just tend to forget about her not gonna lie because there's no other real reason why I know all her music I listen to her albums when they come out she just came out with a song called Black Parade I believe last Friday or possibly the week before really good song really good song I love her music I just I don't know I think it's because I don't get to know a lot about Beyonce that it makes me forget about Beyonce, but at the end of the day, she's still Beyonce. I am gonna go in with a little bit of that Wet n Wild Golden Flower Crown um, highlight. I thought the documentary was so well done. I was literally, like I said, I was thoroughly entertained by it the entire time. After all the kikian and gossiping that we did today, we have finally made it all the way to lips. So for lips today, I'm going to be taking this e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick. I've only used this once, I believe. So this time I'm excited to just play with this and I don't remember how it is. So let's just get into it. I really like this y'all I I love having a pink in my collection at all times just because it's one of those colors that like I don't always pull them off but in the summer they look amazing on me because I have like a little bit of a tan like you know what I mean it just looks a lot better but so I really like it and that my loves is a wrap on today's video I really hope you guys like this look I really hope that you had fun kikiing with me I love when I get to just sit down and talk to y'all and just gossip about all the craziness going on in the world I'm throwing things no matter what just remember that all of the petty gossip is really just petty gossip it means absolutely nothing things that do matter in this world are getting justice joining the black lives matter movement donating protesting educating yourself educating others being an ally if you are not black or a person of color and black and person of color are not interchangeable terms so take with that what you will before i let you guys go make sure to like this video leave a little comment subscribe to my channel i already know you want to you're here every week anyway so you might as well just subscribe go ahead commit i'll wait and i will see you guys in the next video bye beauties